I'm supposed to be saying something about uh, my most um, outstanding memories of Idlewild. Well, there are so many memories of Idlewild after I got involved in uh, researching the, the, the community up there for a book, which we have uh, written a, a chord with uh, Dr. Benjamin Wilson on the Black Eden, the Idlewild community. Um, interviewed so many people who were part of the growth and development of Idlewild. And uh, at the end of my, uh, our research, I interviewed Bill McClure, who is an outstanding uh, citizen up there, come from Indianapolis. And I remember sitting chatting with Bill this night, and he said to me, Doc, you, we got to have a vision. Without a vision, we'll die. That struck me as being so profound. And here's a man who would like to have a vision for Idlewild, not as an all-black community, a predominant black community, but as a community of people who would like to see some vibrancy restored in that community. Knowing full well that Idlewild would never be the same as it was in its heyday, and that's not the vision that Bill has or he would like to share with people, but to bring back some vibrancy in a community that is, really a tr that is truly a part of the black American experience. Um, that uh, stands out foremost in my mind, that interview I had with uh, Bill McClure up at Idlewild some four or five years ago. And I am uh, also like to say that I'm pleased that the book that Dr. Wilson and I uh, co-authored has had an impact on <clears throat> reviving, uh, uh, not reviving, but increasing the interest, uh, renewing the interest in Idlewild as a community. Uh, more and more people have gone up now interested in purchasing land and interested in becoming year-round citizens up there in Idlewild community. My name is Jennifer Greger and I, uh, my stepfather, Alan Glenn, has some very vivid memories of going up to Idlewild. Um, in the summer of 1947-1948 um, was the first time he went up. He was about 12 years old. He went up with his mother, his stepfather, his uncle Saint, and his aunt Juanita, who had a cabin up there. Uh, he would go swimming, ride horses. There were shows from all the great acts in Chicago and Detroit. Uh, the Midnighters, Lena Horne. The Four Tops, Temptations, Delta Reese. He remembers having a wonderful time up there, um, and he has lots of great memories. It was very, uh, the very big place to go at the time. My name is Valerie Osborne. And my parents bought a cottage in Woodland Park, which is about 15 miles from Idaho. It was a very quiet resort. And I spent um, 10 years my summer in Woodland Park from 1953 until 1961. And on Saturdays, we would always try to get up to Idlewell, because that's where the action was. My favorite memory is in the skating ring. I would love to watch the skaters skate because they went so fast and they could dance on skates. I was always afraid to get on the skating rink because I wasn't that good of a skater and the floor was uneven and there was a big post in the middle, but I loved to watch them dance. And another favorite memory is going to the uh, Flamingo Club in the Paradise. I remember seeing Jackie Wilson, the Four Tops, and Temptations, Della Reese. It was a wonderful place. And they had beautiful showgirls. And another favorite memory is walking on the boardwalk. They had a boardwalk where the restaurants were. And it was always uh, fun to walk on the boardwalks and go to the restaurants and get frog legs. So I have some wonderful memories of Idaho. Uh, my name is June Cotton. 
Um, and my memories of uh, Idlewild are um, when I was a child. Uh, between 1940 and probably 1950, those five years, um, I lived with an aunt who had a cottage in Covert, Michigan. And they would come up for the whole summer and spend the, the uh, summer in, uh, in Covert. But um, we would also make excursions on the weekend or uh, over the holidays we would rent a cabin in Idlewild if there was going to be a special performer uh, there for, let's say, maybe Labor Day or Fourth of July. And I can remember uh, as a child not uh, being able to go to any of the performances that were there, but just uh, I remember the, the joy and the freedom uh, of just walking down that one main street in the community and seeing uh, so many uh, black people who were comfortable in this environment. Uh, there were doctors and lawyers. I remember in particular um, Judge Duke Slater and my uncle, Dr. Alney Tobin, who was a dentist, and my grandfather, um, Charles Sumner Jackson, who was a doctor in Chicago and Morgan Park. And this was their getaway. Even though they lived in a big city, this was sort of like coming home to a family reunion and where everybody kind of knew one another and it was really easy to make friends. People would visit from cottage to cottage. Um, as children, we would go uh, to the ice cream parlor, we would go roller skating, we used the beach. And uh, during the evening when nobody was really aware that we were out and about, we'd peek in some of the nightclubs um, uh, as we snuck around at night but it was just a very joyful experience to have and it's one of my fondest memories as a child. Uh, my experiences in Idlewild, um, I'm 58 years old right now, my name is Scott Bundle and I started going to Idlewild when I was four years old. Um, my aunt owned a business there called the Rosanna, I both, two, two of my aunts owned the the Rosanna Tavern and built it in 1924. Um, learning how to fish, swim, roller skate. Um, uh, 12 years old out doing all these things were a great, great experience for, for me. Um, nature and beauty and the, and, the, and the people and the camaraderie ship was amazing in my early years. <laughs> So I'll be giving you basically secondhand memories. My family, uh, my father's uh, niece, so my cousin, actually lived in Idlewild. She was uh, employed as a uh, nurse aide, I guess would be the equivalent today. And uh, my dad and my mom, my uncles and such would go up there periodically from Evanston, which is where they uh, were living um, earlier in the family history and they would go to Idlewild to, uh, to socialize. And uh, I heard about like uh, going to hear big bands and it was uh, a place where you could relax and there was uh, nightclubs and things like that. And um, just a really fascinating time. And in the 60s later, in the late 60s, they began going less and we kind of lost contact with family that were there. They came more to visit us after the uh, 60s than the other way around. And um, um, I was just pleased tonight to hear about uh, the history of Idlewild and to learn a little bit more about what my family had seen in terms of the big bands, uh, the music, the performers, uh, the nightclubs, things like that. Mm -hmm. 